I'd like to go straight down the line, just have everybody introduce themselves, uh, talk about yourself, talk about your company, what you do. I'm Carolyn Kramer. I'm from Prestige Staffing. Uh, we're based out of Atlanta, but our New York... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> um, but our New York office has been open for about two years now, and we work with a lot of small to what? Hey, do me a favor, just actually slide that mic up a little bit closer. Okay. Is that better? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, we work with a lot of small to mid-sized startups. Is usually our bread and butter. Um, anything within the software development lifecycle, so uh, engineers, QAs, BAs, uh, the whole deal. Yeah. So, quick question for my audience here. How many people have been on an interview and then never heard back? Gone to an interview and then never heard back? So, so why, why is that? Why do people not hear back? Like, what's, what is the process there for when you guys meet someone in the office and then, like, what's, what's supposed to happen next? What would be a good way to follow up uh, and, you know, gently remind you that you're excited about the potential of working there? <laughs> And if you're working with a staffing agency, don't be afraid to call the recruiter, because that's kind of our job. We're particularly guilty of not getting back to people. It's the reputation. So go ahead and give us a call. Okay, <laughs> Say so what happened. And what would be a good, a good way to uh, realize, like, what's the next step? So I, maybe I didn't hear back. I'm, I'm bugging you a little bit. Should I say, you know, hey, let me know what's going on. Is there another interview? Are there, are there, is there always another interview? Like, what, what's, the, what's the standard process of going down the line? I was speaking to a, a lady in here who said she was on, like, interview number three, and then it kind of just, like, went silent. You know, so, like, what, what's, the, what's the standard process for how many interviews they should expect at each company or a staffing agency? Like, what, what's the typical process here? Well, we're actually adding our process into our clients' processes, so that can make it a little more complicated sometimes. Um, on the bright side, we do address all those things up front, so like especially most of the time you're working and we know you have a rough schedule, and when we address those things, we'll try to find out maybe if there's two face-to-faces with that client, if we can try to get them into one, if you really just can't take off that many days, it's just... It's a little more back and forth we try to make it so that we can make it easier for our candidates. How many clients do you guys represent? Um, in Atlanta, I don't know because it's the headquarters, but in New York, I'd say about 50 or so. Okay, so would they do the interview process with you first, like uh, several lines of interviews, and then kind of whichever company you send, then they start that process again? Is that how that would typically work, or do they we're skip doing any the of that? We're doing initial screening, okay. um, and then we're saying, like, hey, this is what's going on with this person. They're good to go. And then we're guiding them through that interview process with the client from there. What if, I, what if I'm just an amazing developer, an amazing worker, but I don't have that passion? Like, sure. wh which way do you go? Do you go with the person who's you know, not going to crank out the code as fast, but loves the, 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 the company, loves the, the industry, or someone who's, like, amazing, but yeah. really just, you know, doesn't care yeah. all that much. I find too often, too, that, like, um, candidates are actually really excited about the company, but then afterwards, after the interview, just because they were nervous or they were shy, the client's like, do they even really want to be here? Um, so I'd much rather you just tell the client, like, hey, I'm kind of nervous, you know, because I'm excited about it, than, like, brush it off and not really seem too engaged. What else should they have ready? So uh, here's my GitHub. What else should they have when they walk in that you think would be uh, not just junior developers, any developers, really beneficial to, to the interview? Clubs, affiliations, anything that, that, like that that they've been involved in, for sure. Uh, before we get to, I, I want to have everybody shout out a job in a minute, but I want to just leave this with like, really one good piece of advice uh, for, for the job seekers here in the audience. Uh, so we can just go down there. What's, what's something that's really good that people should really just keep in mind and, and you know, remember while they're interviewing? I mean, I think that it takes practice. Like, everyone messes up their first few interviews, and you kind of just keep plugging away at it. Networking, stuff like that, so always really helps. So, Thank you for the endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, really quick, I just want to ask one more that you reminded me of. Uh, how many people typically apply for one job? How many people do you interview to fill one position? Um, I mean, we tend to keep it a little more specialized and okay. not over well, the hiring managers, so I mean, there's a reason why it hasn't been filled yet, and we're trying to dig into that and find a better fit. Um, so we'll talk to a lot of people, probably end up sending about like two, three at a time.